fainting accounts for around 3% of emergency room visits in the United States. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the main causes of fainting, as well as some simple ideas to prevent. Now before I begin, down below I'm giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, dietary supplements as well as alternative medicine. Now vasovagal syndrome, also, an anal, also known as vasovagal syncope, is a common cause of fainting or passing out. I like to think of this condition as really kind of like a mild stroke. Do you have any idea how a stroke is caused? Well, yeah. Blood is, is needed uh, for fuel, oxygen, to eliminate waste materials. And when it doesn't reach the brain, it causes a stroke, which is brain damage. And uh, vasovagal syncope takes place when not enough blood reaches the brain. It pretty much shuts down. That's why someone passes out. Now, the good news is, uh, that unlike a stroke, this condition doesn't really cause severe brain damage. Um, but yeah, it can be very dangerous. And do you see how it can be dangerous? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're driving a car and you pass out, that's not good. Maybe you're walking across a busy street or you're scuba diving. Now, the interesting thing is, and this condition takes place due to triggers, just like a like a asthma or a panic attack. Certain things cause someone to pass out. Now, these triggers cause a drop in blood pressure and a heart rate uh, resulting in a, in a loss of blood reaching the brain. Now one example of one of these triggers would be the sight of blood. Now it's kind of interesting how some people faint at the sight of blood, right? Ever wonder why in the heck that happens? Well there's a theory about this and one of it, the theory is, is that it has something to do with survival. So if you're a warrior and you fainted during battle then people might pass over you and you could survive. Also, if you faint with an injury, you might not bleed to death. Just an idea. Now, a nerve trigger that has to do with fainting uh, is standing for prolonged periods of time, and if somebody's dehydrated, it can really increase the chance of somebody fainting. And in fact, dehydration is a big cause of somebody being tired. The rule of thumb is someone should really drink about eight glasses of water, there are eight ounces. Um, in size. Also, alcohol and drugs can cause this condition. If you've ever been hungover, then yeah, you know about how thirsty you were afterwards, right? Alcohol also decreases blood pressure, which can cause a loss of blood to the brain. Other common causes could be uh, blood sugar levels, heart problems, blood clot, cholesterol, anxiety. Now, to prevent this condition, a few good ideas would be to manage anxiety and increase blood flow through exercise, and there's tons of herbal remedies that can help. And if herbal remedies seems like something you're interested in, then I would highly encourage you to check out this free video guide I created. I talked about it earlier, um, but what it talks about, it simplifies herbal medicine, it goes over how to shop for supplements, and how to identify a good product over a a product that's more risky. It also goes over alternative medicine and other really cool things like detoxing. It's also completely free and you can learn more by simply clicking on the link below this video. I really appreciate you watching this video. Give me your time. I hope it was helpful. Please leave a comment with any thoughts you have on this condition and some other ideas on how to, to prevent it. And if you like the video as always, give me the thumbs up. I would really appreciate that a lot and uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day.